So Max, we've had our prior book too. Do you want to say about that? Yes, uh, Blockchain Enabled Applications was a, a really interesting book and very creative. At the time, really we didn't know what the total impact would be, but we found that it was really accepted very well around the world. Mm -hmm. and, and because of that, uh, we, we learned a lot and we met a lot of people and we realized that the blockchain was much bigger than we could imagine and that also uh, it set us up to do other things in the future. Yeah, so when we started it, we knew there'd be various vertical industries. So how do you take blockchain and apply it to all of these different industry segments too and see the enterprise applications, the scalable applications that might change things like FinTech, RegTech, GovTech, exactly. and Health Tech. Sure. And I think that's where we saw like, when did about 20% of the book was right. uh, healthcare or yes. health related? So that was a fairly sizable chunk. So I think that's part of what led us to think that maybe there was something there for the new book, right? Sure. Well, we, we found that uh, through different things. One, uh, going to China with medical tourism mm -hmm. and, you know, going to Great Britain and mm -hmm. learning different things that way. And then just the convergence of a whole bunch of people, industries, and incredible people showing up to be, uh, to see the creativity of blockchain and what it could do. Mm -hmm. uh, we realized that it, it's growing and growing and growing. So from that, uh, it, it's leading to more and more things that, that we're working on. Yeah, so one book has kind of led to the other book. But now this book on blockchain and healthcare, seeing how the whole industry is starting to move and be shaped by this too, has led us to something else too. Yeah, you exactly. want to talk yeah. about that too? Well, so, so we realized that in addition to having incredible uh, experts and people coming together in, in different verticals, we also realized that there was a need for capital to be able to execute on an awful lot of these transactions. So we were able to put together a uh, $100 million fund called uh, Global Blockchain Ventures. And that's just recently come out. But we were very excited about that because we we're able to get some, some tremendous people that are general partners, myself uh, and David are general partners, but we're also able to, to, to reach out and uh, work with uh, different people. Uh, Dieter Kondek from originally from Germany, and he has a, a real following in technology from Bavaria and in Europe, and then Al Weiss, who was a past president of Disney for uh, global operations for the theme parks and cruise line is the other general partner. So we really see that we have a global opportunity here with the capital at a time where we're on a cutting edge situation with blockchain and then finding tremendous people and talent coming together. So it's really an exciting time. I love the nexus that you've pulled together and that we're able to get this synergy with even the public-private partnership with UCF and how we can work together for the better betterment of our students and some of the great ideas that are coming out of really across all of Florida, not just yes. there uh, at the university, sure. but across all of Florida, but also how Florida is serving as kind of a gateway from whether it's Israel, whether it's Germany, whether it's Turkey, In whether India. it's Sweden, yeah. India, exactly, yeah. <laughs> all over the globe, through Florida. It's great having for people who've already had some success overseas uh, in other countries too, to come in with, to a place that uh, has no uh, personal income tax at the state level sure. and able to kind of have a great launch pad into the rest of the US market and also be that gateway that legitimizes some of the transactions that are going on too sure. with our regulation in the US doing everything in a above board regulated way too that's uh, gonna meet all of the, the tests. I think that that's another thing that's needed right now that is going to bring some synergy to all the people we're meeting in the whole blockchain um, space, in whether it's in healthcare, whether it's in education, whether it's in advanced technologies like AI or, or, or some of the augmented reality, reality that you've been working with sure. in India and other places too, and Israel, and tying those together with the right jet fuel of capital that they might need to really either launch into the U.S. market or from the U.S. market sure. on a global play. Well, there's, there's one more thing to it also is that, that we sense it's uh, what we talk about is, um, you know, doing well while you're doing good for others and the impact that this can have on the world to lift other people up in what they're, they're doing and what they're, especially in healthcare. And so um, with that and then the impact to 
Florida through innovation centers that are uh, to be generated from, from what we're doing and just the education and, and, and really a focus on healthcare too um, puts us in a unique position. So that's why we're so excited about this and, and glad that you know everyone's a part of this. And most of our investors are talking about this as an impact investment yes, for right. them too. Yes. So that doing well sure. while doing good and the ability to even take some of those proceeds and do some great things exactly. for society, for humanity as well too. It so uh, it's exciting. It is, it is. Thanks Max. Such a time as this yep. right now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>